Hello, my name is Pedro and I am part of the Cisco Tag Team. In this video, we will discuss how to troubleshoot connectivity issues between an iOS XC device and Cisco Smart Software Manager CSSM. We will focus on a scenario in which the device is supposed to communicate directly with CSSM. First, let's log into the CSSM. In your web browser, go to software.cisco.com and log into your Cisco account. Then click Manage Licenses link to enter the licensing section in the Cisco Smart Software Manager portal. Navigate to the Inventory tab to view the list of virtual accounts along with licenses and product instances associated with each virtual account. Our goal is to have the device in question appear under the Product Instances tab in the correct virtual account. We will be using the command line interface to access and configure an iOS XC device. When a customer purchases a new Cisco iOS XE device, the default configuration they will see on the device regarding smart license will have CSLU configured as transport. However, in order for the device to communicate directly with CSSM, the transport mode must be smart or call home. Historically, smart license is based on call home as the transport infrastructure. Nowadays, call home is considered legacy and is planned to be deprecated. Cisco's recommendation is to use smart as a transport. To do that, issue the following commands license smart transport smart and license smart URL default. Then, let's confirm the new setting got applied. Review the output of show license status command. As you can see, the transport URL was configured automatically. After ensuring that we are using the correct transport mode and URL, it's time to test the connectivity between the device and the CSSM. To do that, let's use the command telnet smartreceiver.cisco.com. 443 IPv4. This is important to check because the device communicates with CSSM on port 443, and unless the communication is open on that port, there is never going to be a connection between both ends. There are some reasons for the Telnet test to fail. Some of the reasons for it to fail are DNS cannot be resolved to an IP address, or traffic is being blocked from reaching the destination. CSSM's port 443. In the example above, we were being affected by both issues. To correct the first issue related with DNS, we added the manual entry in the device. We did that by issuing the command ip host smartreceiver.cisco.com 146.112.59.81, one of the dynamic IPs associated with smartreceiver.cisco.com. When trying to perform the telnet test again, we can see that we can resolve the domain to an IP. However, we still cannot reach it. Once the firewall rules were fixed, we can confirm the connectivity works and that the TCP session to CSSM port 443 is established. If the communication between the device and the CSSM is supposed to occur on a specific VRF, we need to configure a corresponding source interface for the HTTP client component. To do that, issue the command IP HTTP client source interface and the source interface you have associated with the VRF in question. In such scenario, in order to test the connectivity, the interface should be provided. Therefore, the command would be telnet smartreceiver.cisco.com 443 source interface, the interface in use, slash IPv4. Let's say that in the example that we are showing, we have interface gigabit ethernet1 configured as a source interface for the VRF we are using to communicate with CSSM. The command would look like this. We confirm that the HTTP connectivity to the CSSM is allowed. It's now time to map this device to the virtual account. This will be done using the registration token obtained from the virtual account. It is a common misconception that the registration token can be used on a single device only, and that is not true. The token represents the virtual account, and it can be used on any number of devices that are supposed to be associated with that virtual account. To create the token, access the CSSM then go to Inventory, then General under the virtual account that you desire to register your device in, and click New Token. Fill all the requested information and copy the token. After generating and copying the code, we can issue License Smart Trust ID Token, the ID Token All Force command to register the device in the CSSM portal. This command is specific to Smart Licensing using policy iOS XC 17.3.2 version or newer. In case you are using Smart License up until iOS XC 17.3.1 version, the command will be License Smart Register ID Token, the ID Token All Force. 
we can then issue the show license status command and confirm that the trust code is installed on the device, meaning that the registration was successful. We can also check the CSSM portal and confirm that the device we just registered appears under the product instances section of our virtual account. If after all the device is still not communicating with the portal, please contact TAC and upload the following outputs show tech license and show license history message. Thanks for watching.